How to sleep better at night naturally. Are you feeling tired? Regular exercise and a balanced diet are just as important as good sleep. Research shows that lack of sleep has immediate negative effects on hormones, exercise performance, and brain function. It can also lead to weight gain and an increased risk of disease in both adults and children. Over the next few minutes, you'll discover how to sleep better at night naturally. Make sure you watch the video until the end. Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and then clicking on the bell icon every time you post a new video to get a notification. On the contrary, getting enough sleep can help you eat less, exercise better, and stay healthy. In recent decades, both the quality and quantity of sleep have declined. Many people sleep poorly. If you want to improve your health or lose weight, getting a good night's sleep is one of the most important things you can do. Here are 16 evidence-based tips to help you to sleep better at night naturally. 1. Do not drink alcohol. Drinking something in the evening can hurt your sleep and hormones. Alcohol is known to cause or aggravate the symptoms of sleep apnea, scratching, and sleep disturbances. It also impairs the production of melatonin at night, which plays a major role in your body's circadian rhythm. Another study found that drinking alcohol at night lowers the natural height of human growth hormone, HGH, at night, which plays a role in circadian rhythms and has many other important functions. Avoid alcohol before bed as it can reduce melatonin production at night and can interfere with sleep patterns. 2. Set your bedroom temperature. Body and bedroom temperatures can also have a profound effect on sleep quality. As you may have experienced during the summer or in hot places, it can be very difficult to get a good night's sleep when it is very hot. One study found that bedroom temperature affected sleep quality more than outside noise. Other studies show that body and bedroom temperature can reduce sleep quality and increase wakefulness. About 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, seems to be a comfortable temperature for most people, although it depends on your preferences and habits. Try different temperatures to find out which one is most comfortable for you. About 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 C, is best for most people. 3. Relax and clear your mind at night. Many people have a sleep routine that helps them relax. Relaxation techniques before bedtime have been shown to improve sleep quality and are another common technique used to treat insomnia. In one study, a relaxing massage improved sleep quality in sick people. Strategies include listening to relaxing music, reading a book, taking a hot bath, meditating, taking deep breaths, and imagining. Try different ways and find the one that works best for you. Bedtime relaxation techniques, including hot baths and meditation, can help you fall asleep. 4. Take a relaxing bath or shower. Another popular way to get a good night's sleep is with a relaxing bath or shower. Studies show that they can help improve the overall quality of sleep and help people, especially the elderly, fall asleep faster. In one study, taking a hot bath 90 minutes before bedtime improves sleep quality and helps people sleep more comfortably. Conversely, if you don't want to take a full bath at night, bathing your feet in warm water can help you relax and improve sleep. Before going to bed, take a warm bath, shower, or foot bath to help you unwind and sleep well. 5. Get a comfortable bed, mattress, and pillow. Some people wonder why they always sleep in a hotel. In addition to the comfortable environment, the quality of the bed can also affect sleep. One study looked at the benefits of a new mattress for 28 days, which showed a 57% reduction in back pain, a 60% reduction in back pain, and a 59% reduction in back strain. It also improves sleep quality by 60%. Other studies suggest that a new bed can increase sleep. Also, poor quality bedding can increase back pain. The best mattresses and beds are very personal. If you are upgrading your bed, make your choice based on your personal preferences. It is recommended that you update your bed at least every 5 to 8 years. If you haven't changed your mattress or bed in years, it can be a very quick, though probably expensive, solution. Your bed, mattress, and pillow can greatly affect your sleep quality and joint or back pain. Try to buy high-quality bedding every 5 to 8 years, including a rack. 6. Do not drink any fluids before going to bed. 
The medical name for overnight urination is nocturia. It affects the quality of sleep and affects the, the mood of the day. Drinking large amounts of fluids before bed can also cause similar symptoms, although some people are more sensitive than others. Although hydration is important for your health, it is advisable to reduce your fluid intake late at night. Try not to drink fluids for 1 to 2 hours before bedtime. You should also use the bathroom before going to bed, as this can reduce your chances of waking up at night. Reduce your fluid intake late at night and try using the bathroom before bed. 7. Increase your exposure to bright light during the day. Your body has a natural time clock known as your circadian rhythm. It affects your brain, body, and hormones, helps you stay awake, and tells your body when it's time to go to bed. Natural sunlight or bright daylight helps keep your circadian rhythm healthy. It improves daytime energy, as well as the quality and duration of nighttime sleep. In people with insomnia, bright light during the day improves the quality and duration of sleep. It also reduced sleep time by 83%. A similar study in older adults found that two hours of bright light a day increased sleep volume by two hours and increased sleep efficiency by 80%. Although most of the research involves people with severe sleep problems, the possibility of daily light exposure will help you even if you experience average breast sleep. Try to withstand daily sunlight or, if this is impractical, invest in artificial bright lighting fixtures or bulbs. Daily sunlight or bright artificial light can improve the quality and duration of your sleep, especially if you have severe sleep problems or insomnia. Before I proceed, if you are finding value in this video, kindly like the video, it will help us in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. 8. Develop a sleep routine. It may seem like you're hungry, but sleeping through Saturday afternoon will disrupt your biological clock and lead to more trouble sleeping. Sleeping at the same time every night on weekends, holidays, and other holidays also helps set your internal sleep, wake clock and reduces the twists and turns needed to sleep. 9. Change your diet. Take out foods and drinks that contain caffeine, such as coffee, tea, soda, and chocolate, in the middle of the afternoon. Make dinner your light meal and finish it a few hours before bed. Avoid spicy or heavy foods, which can keep you awake with heartburn or indigestion. 10. Don't smoke. A study by a trusted source found that smokers are four times more likely than non-smokers to feel uncomfortable after a full night's sleep. Researchers at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine attribute this to the stimulating effects of nicotine and nighttime withdrawal. Smoking promotes sleep apnea and other respiratory diseases like asthma, which can make restful sleep difficult. 11. Use your bedtime only to sleep. Your bed should not be connected to sleeping, working, eating, or watching television. If you are awake at night, do not turn on your laptop or TV and do something comfortable such as meditating or reading until you fall asleep again. Sleep is a beautiful thing. If you feel you are not getting enough sleep or you are not enjoying a good night's sleep, these simple changes can contribute to a more relaxed night. 13. Black it out. The light tells your brain that it's time to wake up so make your room as dark as possible to sleep. Even the slightest ambient light from your cell phone or computer can disrupt the production of melatonin, a hormone that helps regulate the sleep cycle, and generally cause drowsiness. 14. Don't consume caffeine at the end of the day. Caffeine has many advantages and is used by 90% of the population of the United States. A diet can improve concentration, energy release, and athletic performance. However, when consumed at the end of the day, caffeine stimulates your nervous system and can prevent your body from relaxing naturally at night. In one study, caffeine consumption six hours before bedtime significantly impairs sleep quality. Caffeine can stay high in the blood for six to eight hours. So, drink large amounts of coffee from 3 a.m. to 4 p.m. Not recommended, especially if you are sensitive to caffeine or you feel sleepy. If you crave a cup of coffee late in the afternoon or evening, opt for decaf coffee. Caffeine can significantly impair your sleep quality, especially if you drink large amounts late in the evening or in the evening. 15. Reduce irregular or prolonged naps. While short naps are beneficial, long or irregular naps during the day can harm your sleep. Sleeping during the day can confuse your internal clock, 
which means you may have difficulty sleeping at night. In fact, in one study, participants slept more during the day after taking a nap. Another study found that while naps of 30 minutes or less can improve brain function throughout the day, long naps can damage health and sleep quality. However, some studies show that people who are regular during the day should have poor sleep or sleep at night. If you take regular naps during the day and sleep well, you don't have to worry. The effects of bowing depend on the person. Prolonged daytime naps can affect your sleep quality. If you have trouble sleeping at night, stop taking naps or shorten them. 16. Try to sleep and try to wake up at regular intervals. Your body's circadian rhythm works in a fixed loop, with the sun rising and setting. Staying consistent with your sleep and waking hours can help improve your long-term sleep quality. One study noted that participants who had unusual sleep patterns and went to bed late on the weekends reported poor sleep. Other studies have shown that irregular sleep patterns can impair circadian rhythms and melatonin levels, signaling the brain to sleep. If you feel sleepy, try to get in the habit of waking up and sleeping at the same time. You do not even need an alarm after a few weeks. Try to get into a regular sleep-wake cycle, especially on weekends. If possible, try to wake up naturally at the same time every day. Sleep plays a fundamental role in your health. One major review linked insufficient sleep to an increased risk of obesity in 89% of children and 55% of adults. Other studies have found that sleeping less than 7 to 8 hours a night increases the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. If you are interested in optimal health and wellness, it is recommended that you make sleep a priority and include some tips in the video. If you want to learn a free hack to make you sleep in 2 minutes without medication, click on the first link in the description below to watch the free video. If you enjoyed watching this video give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know what you think and also hit the subscribe button never miss any updates from us more amazing secrets and tips will keep coming join us on the healthy side of life. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we have hand-picked for you to enjoy next. Stay healthy.